So when you start video editing, the first thing you do uh, is you select out the portions of the different video clips that you want to keep in a timeline. So to do that, I'm going to go to the cut section right here. And over here, uh, you, you can see that I have already imported out some videos and images and audio right here. So what I'm just going to go around and do is uh, I'm going to select out different video parts right here. So I already have some videos over here on my timeline. So I'm just going to go around and delete them so that we can start everything from scratch. So over here, you can see that um, I already have a timeline right here. And now I'm going to go inside of videos and here you can see people uh, is here. So this is the first footage. So if I were to double click, then you can see that I can go around and then I can play this video and see how this video is um, is actually. So let's say, for example, what I want to do is I want to select just um, a certain portion of this video clip in order to be kept into the timeline. And um, I want um, only that to be there in the final output. So in that case, you can go around and select out the portion by using the timeline cursor right here. Or another thing that you can do is you can be more precise by clicking and dragging this uh, area right here. As you can see, you can click and drag out right here and select a particular area just like this. And what you can do is you can press I on your keyboard. So the I key on your keyboard um, uh, denotes the end point uh, for any particular uh, video or you, you, you um, uh, it is also known as marking in. So over here, you can see that this is what you have and you can also click and drag around this right here, just like this um, uh, 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 to change around the marking area right here. And it can be very precise. As you can see, you can see the exact marking point right here. You can go around onto the end over here as well. And then in order to mark the end point, um, that is the out point as well, you can go around, press O and then that particular area will be marked as the end point, as you can see. You're not deleting out the parts of videos, but you're essentially just going around and then um, you are um, uh, selecting the portion of that particular video. So now what you can do is you can go around and click and drag that clip onto the timeline and the uh, uh, clip that you selected, uh, what happens is that appears right here. So only the portion that you selected appears over here, as you can see. So you can do with uh, this with different clips. So over here, you can see that there's native video clips right here. So let's say I'm going to go around over here on to a let's say the water video clip right here and uh, the same thing goes right here so there's the water as you can see so let's say what i want to do is i want to mark around um, the end portion right here uh, from this portion right here to this portion in order to work around and edit it with so i'm just going to go around over there press i on my keyboard and you can also click and drag out this area right here as you can see and you can go around and change around the marking and mark out point by one frame by using these keys over here as well. And I can click and drag it out right here. And that particular portion actually comes up over here, as you can see. And this is what you see on the final timeline right here. So this is the main timeline view. And this is the detail view, as you can see. So I can go around over here and then go to the beginning, let's say, for example, and then press play to see the video clips um, that you actually arrange out in the timeline right here. So that's the first clip right here. And this is the second clip right here. And the video is quite choppy, as you can see when I play back. And that is quite normal because this is um, uh, that this video is not processed and it is normal for it to be choppy at times. And when you export this into a final output, everything will go smoothly. So uh, that, that's it. So I'm just going to go around over here as well. Let's say, for example, onto this video uh, right here, you can set the in and out point over here as well by pressing I and then you can go around, press O. And then what you can do is you can drag that out directly directly from over here as well onto the main timeline, as you can see this like this. And that is how you can mark in and out points inside of DaVinci Resolve. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.